What is up, you of people? My name is Tyler Lunsford, and welcome back to a new type of video. I've never done this type. I've never reacted to a magic show on the channel. Uh, but yeah, we're reacting to Joshua J. Six Impossible Things today. So basically, the idea is I'm going to watch the show here with you, and I'm going to clip some highlights of me reacting to it and just kind of give you my thoughts on it as a show overall at the end of this video. And I'm going to make a separate video talking about the tutorial part of it, basically teach you how these tricks work, and then also Josh talks you through how to basically put a show together. And I also have my six impossible things, one of 600, actually 19 of 600 to be specific, number 19. Now, I don't have 19 of these, but I have number 19. Uh, I have it with me, and I'm going to open it and keep it by my side because there's a couple different things in there that I might want to take out, such as right here, which is what everybody got when they attended the show. So I'm going to have this booklet with me and just kind of, I don't know, I guess, kind of act like I'm experiencing the show in real life for the first time which I never got to see it in person, so I'm very, very excited that I'm getting to see it now. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So I'm going to start it up, and we're going to see how this goes. Behind a secret door on the Lower East Side, Joshua J has this show. Tickets sell out five months in advance. Five months? That's a long time. Five months is a long time. There is no theater, it says. There is no stage. What is there? There are no rules. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Murder. Essentially, it's just these people standing in a room right now, and they're in a white room. Children, they're all standing. All people. There's like 20 people, and they're all standing. That's interesting. You you think of a magic show as like people being like seated. This feels really personal. Am I supposed to open this? <laughs> I'm gonna open it now. Directed by Luke Germain. The other brothers collaborated on this. Huh. I don't know if these tricks are in order in here as they are in the video that I'm watching. Maybe they are. I don't know. Oh, these are in order. <laughs> okay, makes sense. I've never really gotten to see Josh perform like this. I mean, I've seen him perform at like Magic Live for like magicians, but I've never seen him perform like a show. And it's really interesting to see him perform for like lay like lay people, like a lay audience. I'm in, I'm enjoying this. Josh is funny. Okay, now I am back to square one of not knowing if these are in order, but I think they are. <laughs> Watching these, I'm like really excited that I get to figure out how they work afterwards because this is really good. He just revealed where the Six Impossible Things title comes from. I did not know that. Does that girl go to my church? No, no, okay. That girl kind of looked like somebody I just saw this past Sunday. Okay, it's definitely not her. I'm curious as to how much this is edited to like maybe conceal some of the methods. I don't know, maybe it's not at all, but I'm. it might be and I'm just curious if it is. He is now looking at a spectator's socks. Okay, I'm gonna try to follow along with the book. I think I, think I just call it a cut. Not that it's like terrible, but I think this is edited uh, just a little bit to maybe conceal methods. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just, maybe I didn't see anything. I feel like there might just be like some, you know, trying to disguise some cuts. One thing that I really, really love about this is that this room that they're in, these props are just kind of like blending into the walls. Like they're almost like part of the design. Josh is a, a, a wonderful, excellent storyteller. I mean, He's bringing tricks that I've seen before, but like, I don't know. He's like make, he's making them emotional in, in a way. I think that's probably a good way to describe it. Like, I feel like emotionally connected to, the, to, to this, you know, this certain act that he's doing. It's an interesting feeling uh, and something that I would like to work on more in my magic after watching this is more storytelling, not just pure amazement. And like, how did you do that? But how did we get from point A to point B? There was like a, a way that we got there that was just so emotionally like driven and maybe connected that it made the impact of the trick hit even harder because you just enjoyed the whole experience and not just the end of being fooled. I just feel like that's something like to ponder on. He's doing the Trojan deck right now and this story is awesome. Oh, this story, he tells it so well. 
the people here look emotionally impacted as well, like they're invested in this story. These, these are great reaction shots too. It also kind of feels like parts of this B-roll are from a horror movie, and so it's part of the soundtrack. Shout out Matt Zat in the background. <laughs> No, no way. This is credit card and ice. And I did not see this coming. Well, I mean, I knew it ended up in the ice because I've listened to interviews and stuff, but I didn't know it was going to end up like this. No way. I'm about halfway through. It's kind of scary. We're in the dark right now. I love all the different rooms that they're in. This feels so, like, different. Like, you're in the same show, but you're in a different spot. That is so cool. That is such a good moment. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I love how the set is being used in so many different ways. You have to you have to watch it to see what I mean, but like, oh, it's such a good idea. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's the t-shirt trick. Oh, I love the t-shirt trick. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. I don't know what this was. All right, it just says finale now, but we have like 20 minutes left, so I'm curious if it's like a 20 minute finale. <laughs> I can't believe what he's using right now. He's using something like really, really simple that a lot of people probably would laugh at. These people look like they are genuinely amazed, which I mean, they should be. I would be too. I am. <laughs> but like being there experiencing this, I can't even imagine. This is a really, really good idea to set up a trick. Shout out Six Impossible Things crew. <laughs> oh. Oh. That was such a good ending. Oh, that was such a good ending. Like all the, all the, not that there were any loose ends, but like all the ends are just tied up. They put a bow on top basically. Oh, oh man. And hearing these people's, after, or these thoughts after the show is like, ah, oh, so cool. There's like a special ending, like a bonus ending. I don't know what I was expecting, but I would say it was pretty in line with what I was expecting because of all the stuff that I've heard about it. And the stuff that they've done, like, with the marketing leading up to it and the podcast that they've done. I mean, they've talked about, like, different tricks and they've talked about a lot of different things. So I kind of knew a couple of the tricks that were coming, but also some of them I had no idea. The ending was really well done. It was all tied together really, really well. The very, the bonus ending, I guess, was also an incredible idea. The set was absolutely amazing. I mean, just the whole environment that they're in and the way the set was being used to like hold props and st it, 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 uh, it, it was so well designed. Oh, the tricks were great. The tricks were awesome. The tricks were stuff that like a mix of things that I'd seen before, but also some things I hadn't seen. And the things that I'd seen before, Josh has like put his own spin on it and it's like brand new and it was fun to watch and entertaining. This is a really, really good show. And if you're debating whether or not you should buy the show to watch it, whether you learn the tricks or not, you should absolutely buy the show. You should, you should watch the show, sit down with your family, put it on the TV, have an evening in, just watch a magic show and just enjoy it. Uh, it was just so well done. The storytelling is immaculate. Everything is just really well done there. Um, some people have even said that this is the best magic show they've ever seen. It, it is well done. It's very well done. And just everything, it's, it's got a lot of different aspects to it that all tie together nicely. And it's just, it's more than a magic show. It's a story. And that's what I think that I took away from it is that I would like to make more stories out of my magic and make it more emotional for my audience rather than here we go, let's get to the end of the trick and then boom, you're amazed and you're fooled. No, the whole process of getting from point A to point B is supposed to be the trick, right? It's not just the ending. And I think that that's something I took away from this and something that I'm going to actually you know, work on adding into my magic. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to watch my review of the actual Six Impossible Things Deluxe Edition, limited edition set where I watch the video of how it's done, I watch the video of Josh putting a show together, and I'm gonna tell you basically what I think about Josh's explanation. I'm gonna tell you if I think that it's something that, you know, is worth the money as far as like the, the expertise that you get from like learning how to put together a show. If that sounds like something that you're into and you want to see a review of this, then click this video right here and I will see you in that video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.